Coming up this week on Eagle Vision News, we take you to an event that made quite a splash on campus. And see how Biola students are supporting their local community. Plus, what was this man doing in a giant hamster ball? All this and more, next. Hi, welcome to Eagle Vision News. My name is Tiffany Brevard. And I'm Natalie Grace. Let's take a look at this week's headlines. It's been over a week since the first case of Ebola landed on American shores. Now, the Obama administration is thinking about tougher screening procedures for Ebola at U.S. airports. The enhanced measures would be on top of the screenings that happen in countries with high Ebola infection rates. Passengers could expect to be questioned about whether they've been in contact with Ebola-infected people and have their temperature taken. The extra screenings would cover three-fourths of all passengers traveling from West Africa. SoCal residents will be getting another blood moon show on Wednesday, the second one in under a few months. This blood moon will be over 5% larger than the last blood moon, and it will be as big as a supermoon. This will also be the second in a series of four blood moons known as a tetrad. Tetrads can be a rarity. Earth hasn't seen one in 300 years. Blood moons occur during a lunar eclipse when the Earth is between the sun and the moon. A man in Florida decided he wanted to run from Florida to Bermuda, on the Atlantic Ocean, in a giant hamster ball. The man inserted himself with some protein bars and a GPS into a giant inflatable ball, which he powered by running on top of the water. He says he was running for world peace. Unfortunately, he didn't make it very far. The U.S. Coast Guard had to rescue him after he turned on his personal locating beacon from exhaustion. A new intramural sport had its debut on campus this week, and reporter Tori Andreas was there to give us an inside look. <laughs> Despite the heat last Saturday, students joined together to compete in the inner tube water polo tournament. As soon as the games began, the teams were determined to win. Players did their best to blow the competition out of the water. A total of six intramural sports teams participated in the tournament, making for some exciting matches. Players from different sports join together to compete outside of their comfort zone and become the champions. The event was one of the many tournaments the intramural team sponsors throughout the year and was a huge success. In the fall, the intramural team sponsors a variety of sports, such as volleyball, bowling, and flag football. This has been Tori Andreas, Eagle Vision News. Well, it looks like they were having so much fun out there. Oh, yeah. Like, it's been so hot, it just made me want to jump in a pool. And your tubes are so, look so fun. What a great idea. I thought it was a genius idea. Biola's been full of spirit this semester, with students rallying to support their sports teams at this year's Eagle Fest. Reporter Nicole Maharo has the story. <laughs> Food, friends, and free t-shirts were all part of AS Spirit Board's Eagle Fest event last Thursday. Students and athletes came together to show their support for Biola Athletics, and the event was partly aimed to get Biola's community excited about athletic games. The AS Spirit coordinator shares her thoughts about how Biola's community should support their athletes. Being a former athlete, I understand how hard they work and how much effort they put into their um, athletic events. And I just really want to have the student body rally up behind them to encourage them. A lot of Biola students are coming here to enjoy some donuts, otter pops, face painting, and to get ready and pumped for the volleyball game tonight. The event brought students and athletes together to raise their spirit for the upcoming sports season. Biola students should care about athletes because we care about them and it's a good way to make new friends and get interactive with each other. I definitely think that events like these will help non-athletes get into the spirit of supporting athletes and that we can all join as one community even though we're not all playing sports. This has been Nicole Maharo, Eagle Vision News. 
And now we have Nick McNeil in the studio today to give us our weather forecast this week. Nick, please tell me it's going to start cooling down. Thank you, Tiffany. Unfortunately, the temperatures are still kind of high. It's better than the 100 degrees we've been seeing recently, though. But in Alaska and Serpentine Hot Springs, a photo behind me was taken recently, the autumn colors are already coming out nice and, and just beautiful. That whole area is beautiful. So if you're looking to go on a hike, that's the place for you. Anyway, coming back to La Mirada, California, our daily forecast, we started off with 65 degrees in the morning, perfect temperature for just a morning jog or a quick cup of coffee. But it heated up to an 85 degrees in the afternoon and 64 degrees in the evening. Uh, so still a little cool, but we're, we're hoping for cooler temperatures soon anyway. Sunrise today was at 6.51 a.m. and sunset today was at 6.30 p.m. Uh, now taking a look at our weed and pollen report from across the nation, you can already see that the pollen spreading throughout the California, the Nevada, and, and the Oregon area, as well as majorly in the southern states such as Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Louisiana area. So if you have pollu or pollen problems or, or you have allergies, just stay away from those states as much as you can. And going over to our seven day outlook, we're starting the week off with pretty high temperatures, high 80s, 87, 86, Monday and Tuesday. Um, but in the middle of the week, it starts to taper off just a little bit, the low 80s throughout Wednesday and, and Thursday, Friday. But Saturday and Sunday, it comes back up to the high 80s. So we're looking at some warm temperatures once again. And that's weather, back to you. Thank you, Nick. Churches, students, and Biola faculty all joined together this week to pray for the city of Los Angeles. Reporter Stephanie Beck gives us a look. Friday night marked a special night at Biola. Calvary Chapel was filled with passion and praise music and prayers for a special goal. Biola students and faculty are joined here in the Calvary Chapel to pray for Los Angeles. Church leaders were involved in this event to pray for the city and for events around the world. Dr. David Nystrom prayed on behalf of the university. You would shape our hearts so that they be with yours. Small groups were formed in praying for the undeserved areas of the city, making the night empowering. This event was significant to Biola since it created a firm relationship with neighboring churches, opening up the chance to better serve God's kingdom. You know, it's a partnership, so I think, you know, the, the church as you know, composed of individual people, but also I think the principle holds true for organizations. The model is a body, mutual interdependence, and we need one another. Prayer for Los Angeles signified the first opportunity for students to engage in a new way. This is the first in, in many events that we, we hope to hope will connect us to the city. Biola's partnership not only set a crucial objective to the community, but gave everyone a strong spiritual bond. This is Stephanie Beck, Eagle Vision News. Well, that's all the time we have this week. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more episodes. And if you have any story ideas, feel free to send them to us on any of those websites. Until then, I'm Natalie Grease. And I'm Tiffany Brevard. Thank you for watching.